Hello! It's been a while since I've done an update on my rat cage. I thought today we'd take a little tour. They're no longer in my bedroom. I have moved them to the living room next to my computer. My computer's moved to the living room. Here's the living room. So the first question is, how can I trust my rats near my computer? Well, I cannot unless I'm home but we've got a, a door here that we will close. So let's start at the top. Up at the very, well, first of all, this is a rat manor cage. I already have a video up of how I set it up and I didn't have the Critter Nation at that time. I actually do have the second level for this. I don't have it set up because I like using this as a platform. At the very top of the rat manor, we have one of these nice wooden huts that my rats really like. Here's Rocky and there's Jack. This is where they like to sleep in the day. When I open the, their little drawbridge to let them out, this is where they like to be uh, sleeping until about five at night, five or six at night. Then they start getting active and wild. But it looks like they're awake right now, aren't they? <laughs> So the way that they get up there is usually from this side. We've got on here, this is um, something you're supposed to put like on your sink or vanity. I don't think it's very practical for that, but I use it as shelving for my rats. And because it is just like really, because it is really wide wire, I binder clip on here some thick material so that they've got like a little boat that they can sit in right jack isn't that right yes you're very helpful thank you thank you and they usually jump from here to here but there's also a little shelf here that's built the same way with binder clips here we've got a little <laughs> platform. Jack's really helpful with filming. This platform is on here with, you can see um, a screw and a, I don't know what those are called, like butterfly bolts or something. I don't know. I just made that up. Butterfly. Yeah. This is like, it's so, this is probably for a hamster. It's so small. That's so small for a rat. So it's basically just, if they want to go from here to here to here to here, they can, but typically they jump from here to here. And you may have noticed my, my customized calendar here. I've got my, my soap collab coming up. Rocky's the one who likes to work on my calendar. He's my calendar boy. He makes sure that it, it's unique from other calendars. Don't you, Rocky? Yeah, you're very helpful too. <laughs> so handsome. He's so cute. He has this white eyebrow. Anyway. <laughs> okay. And then this was in my other rat uh, cage video. This is like an organizer with these little drawers. But I use it for my rats because it's simple and all the rats I've ever owned seem to like it. So over here you can see the platform's a little bit larger. And that's because I have a shelf upside down right there. So there, there is, they can, there's that hollow area there, but we have a shelf here so that there's a larger platform for them to walk on basically. And we just keep our binder clips here. I can't say it enough. Binder clips are like amazing for rat owners. So back here is hollow and then you can just basically jump down there from up here or right here from up there and inside these drawers I put bedding looks like we've got a they stole a, a little card from me that's okay they can have it but I keep bedding in there in case they you know you know and it's the same thing in this drawer it's just got bedding in it and then here is just a platform They've been busy chewing on and having a good time. Then we come over here. This is the door for the rat manor, obviously. 
But underneath it, I have a platform that I bought off of Amazon, I think. And it gets uh, screwed in. I have this yarn here like a support because this, this does sink a little lower than, like it gets a little bit floppy even with the screw tightened. So I just have it there for extra support so this isn't bouncing all over the place. And I keep this covered because it is not good for rat feet to be walking on wire. So every time I clean the cage, this gets changed. Right here is a wooden, I don't actually know what kind of wood, I can't remember anymore, but it's just like a wooden bridge that goes all the way to the other side. And it's hooked on here with hooks. It's not really that practical when it comes to being a platform for a rat because it's kind of, you know, bouncy and stuff. It's just something extra, basically. This is just an old towel that I have up here as a hammock. Under here, we've got just a cardboard box, nothing special down there. So they jump from here up to this platform. And this is just another platform that, that I got off of Amazon, I think. And then from here, they jump up through here. From this platform here that we just saw up to here. And then now we're at our next level. <laughs> and I switch out whatever kind of cardboard boxes they have each week. And there's a little bedding tray that's just a large um, Tupperware. I always keep this floor covered because the little wires in here are not the best. They are kind of peeling up. And then here, once again, we have the door, but we have binder clips on here. I have also got these binder rings to help it to be there. And they do sit here and they sit there and watch me a lot. So this has been good. And over here for fun, we've got a basket with bedding. It's also a bathroom, I guess you could say, a second floor bathroom. Okay, now down here, this is our entrance to the Critter Nation. Typically, this would be the floor of the second level. So the ramp would come up to the second level. Well, I have it as basically they're loose. So from that ramp, we go into a cardboard box filled with bedding because the more boxes with bedding you have, the less likely they will be pooping where you don't want them to poop. They'll want to go in the bedding. Over here, we've just got some ripped up jeans, jean pieces, because if I have an old pair of jeans or my husband does, it becomes wrap material. So that's what this is. And this plastic thing is for like organizing or something because it stacks, it has like little holes. So here we got a ramp that goes down here. These are covered, these shelves are covered with pillowcases and I just cut little holes in them for fitting in there. And that's a nice, easy, you just wash them when they're dirty, it's very easy. I cover this mostly so that they can have their feet protected. I do leave some free so that they have good, so they can get a good grip, I guess. So then we come down this ramp, got another one of those containers or shelf organizer thingies. Come down this ramp and we come over here I have these metal walls that you can buy and I keep blankets or material as the base. So they've got a place to go to the bathroom and then they've got a soft place to live. So here we got a nice box. Here we have Trip. Well, he's gonna leave just in time to say hi. There's Trip. Hi Trip. Looking handsome today. Um, in the back, Maybe I could put the flashlight on just so you can see. All right, we got our flashlight on and we're gonna enter the, the rat cage. Behind this box, I have attached a little tray of bedding. So there's a door to get there. It's like a back door leading to the yard of this box practically. Let's turn off our flashlight. I don't wanna bother trip. There we go. And then, of course, you have your shelf down here of all the goodies that you need, like Yogi's, essential. And we do Oxbow adult rat food, which they really love. 
And we got our water bottle there at all times. I actually only feed them once a day and I feed them plenty. I feed them at night before I go to bed. Oh yeah, I wanted to tell you that with these critter nations, you can block off the top and bottom level with this bridge here. So you see this metal hook here? This hooks to the bottom of these ramps so that you can close this basically. And so at night when I go to bed or if I'm leaving the house, I know that they aren't gonna get loose. I know that they're not going to get on top of my computer or chew the wires behind my monitor. So here, when I'm sitting here at my desk, they will come down and visit me from up there. And here we have another wooden shelf that's screwed in like the other ones. So they'll come down here and come over here and visit me. I have these here for them. There's just a little box here that they can be in if they want to. And a little curtain that needs to be fixed. It looks like it's falling down. And you can see they've been here. Naughty. So I can hang out right here, play on my computer, edit videos. And I've got my rats by me whenever they feel like being by me. And it's very pleasant. Hope you enjoyed the little update of my rat cage and their location and how I have things set up and maybe it gave you some ideas for your rat cage. Please take care of yourself so that you can take care of your rats. My rats are usually sure to keep an eye on me when I'm in the kitchen. So Jack is the gray rat, Rocky's the black rat. They are brothers from the same litter and they turned one year old on March 8th, 2021.